Okay, this is Spindle Cat, and we do know that she is in labour now. Um, she's quite agitated at the moment, and um, we've had a bit of stuff coming out of the old uh, bottom bit, um, which she keeps cleaning. Um, and it's just a case of waiting now until uh, the new little kitties start to make an appearance. So I'll keep you informed. This is about half an hour into when labour first started. Um, she won't let me leave her at all. Some cats like to um, be alone and private whilst they give birth, but <coughs> Spindle obviously doesn't. Um, if I try to get up and move, uh, she comes and finds me and gets quite agitated. Whilst I'm sitting here quite calmly, she's, you know, she's she's relatively calm, but it's almost as if, you know, she's saying, Mum, what on earth is happening to me? Well, child, um, it's like this. If you will entertain that grey pussycat. So, at the moment, she's relatively calm. She keeps licking her genital areas um, with anything else that's coming out. Um, we've not got any sign of major action going on down there, but I'll come back to you the minute uh, the fun starts, as it were. She was having quite large contractions just a minute ago. Just like us, it's a process that they go through. The contract contractions get uh, stronger the closer to labour they get. And in between con um, contractions, she has a little bit of a nap. Change position again. Okay. If you see the little black thing that's um, just coming out of her vulva at the moment, that's that's the start of the first kitten. It's just a um, little bit of fluid coming out. She's sure as hell not doing as much screaming as I did when I gave birth. She seems quite relaxed and um, she just takes little breaks in between. But the birth of Alpha, the first one, is imminent. I'll just scroll back and show you just how relaxed she is. She's a good kitty. You're a good girl, Spindle. You're a good girl. I know my baby. And some more pushing. Oops, sorry, to get out of focus that. That's it. That's it, good girl. Here it comes. Here comes that first baby. This is the amniotic sac that's coming first full of fluid, she'll eat that when it comes out. I didn't eat my placenta, I have to say, but cats seem to like to do that. That's it, baby. Oh, my poor baby. See, she's only nine months old herself, so... You know, see, she's just having a break in between contractions.
See how calm she is in between the contractions. She's just resting there until the next one. The next one we should definitely get it out. Oh, poor Spinny. Oh, hello. Got more action there. Sorry, I will try and keep it in focus. Just do with one more contraction. You can see where it is. Look here. That glistening black ball that's got a baby in it. Oh. Just waiting for the next big contraction and then it'll be out. the next one. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Here it comes baby. Oh, baby's having a baby. Oh, that's it. Almost there child. Oh, that's it. Good girl. That's right, almost there. You can just see the kitten inside the sack. Oh, that's it, push girl. Push girl. Good girl. She's absolutely silent, I'm amazed. I did far more caterwauling. animals they just seem to get on with it don't they I often wonder if it might be the fact that they are already relaxed you know they're not expecting a massive pain that's it she's just changing position so she can get a good thrust on it Going to see what's happening now. Can't see really well there, but she's um, sort of licking it. Are we doing little one? That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Push. Push sweet pea. I can't actually see anything at the moment, so...
bush. Push baby. It looks like um, a tail that's sticking out. So I think she's actually giving birth to this one and it's, um, it's breech. It's coming out arse end first. At this stage, as much as you want to, the last thing that you can do is actually interfere. Because <coughs> um, this is all part of the bonding process um, oh she's changing position here get some gravity on it you know I, my urge is to actually get the little tail and try and pull it out but of course you mustn't do that She's getting into all sorts of positions so that she can, you know, try and push that baby out. You know, when you think that uh, as women we just sort of like lie on our backs and don't get into different positions. Animals change positions, you know, to, to see what the best position is for them. Not lying in there on their backs with their legs in stirrups. I have to say, I am more than a little concerned at the moment because I was expecting to it to have all come out but it hasn't and I'm on my own and I've got more than a few concerns I'm just hoping that it comes out all right because I think the amniotic sac has burst this is the problem with having animals at what point do you call a vet in oh. hey, she's really pushing now She's on her haunches now. That's it, good girl. It's okay. Right, we're going quite... Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so distressing. Oh, my God. Have we got one yet? Let me just see if I can see around the other side. Are we out yet? Oh, he's coming. He's coming. That's it. Good girl. Oh, I know. I know. Oh dear. Right, okay. I was going to say the miracle of new life, but it's not breathing yet, so. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think I can go through this again. I'm, I'm going to have to have Spindle uh, doctored the minute we've got this all over and done with. 
I can't tell you the stress of this. Oh. Now, of course, we're just wondering whether it's alive or not. Oh, it's moving. Oh, the baby's moving. She's cleaning it up, she's licking it. Um, and that is to stimulate... Um, Stimulate the circulation system and breathing mechanisms. Oh, it's moving. Yes. The little chap is moving. Can you see it there? It's little paws. Oh, you baby. And the miracle of new life. Oh, it is so very, very tiny. I'm far cuter than a human baby. That's it. Clean him up. Oh dear. Well, welcome to our world, little one. Oh dear. Your first bath, baby. Oh, so cute. There's a good girl, Spinny. She says, hang on, Mum, I'm busy. This thing has just come out my bottom. Hmm? See, her licking is all part of the bonding process and it also helps to stimulate the milk. There she goes, you see, she's eating the bits of the placenta there. Oh. Sorry, I do apologise about going out of focus. I'm just so excited. There he is. Oh dear. Now you see the baby's job, because they're born blind and deaf, is to wriggle around and find that nipple to start feeding. Isn't nature, nature and God just wonderful? <laughs> this is the first baby listen to him. But she's got another baby coming out. So she keeps changing positions and... Oh dear. Oh. He's got hold of her tail. Sorry, went out of focus there.
bite him. Oh, poor little chap. She's just moved him so that she's put him out of the way while she gives birth to another one. Okay, Spinny, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Of course they can't walk at this age you see so <laughs> she's sort of like dragging him around as she changes positions trying to get the next one out all right girl you're doing really really well you're a good girl it's okay That's it. It's okay. <laughs> she says, you keep telling me it's okay, but these things keep coming out of my bottom. <laughs> this little chap here. He's, he's still searching around for a nipple. <laughs> Must be a male. Come in. Oh, oh, I think. Oh, oh dear. That that's not good. Is that the? Is that the afterbirth? Oh. I hope that's the afterbirth. All right, little one. It's okay. There's something very nasty. Let's let's hope that that's the afterbirth. All right, little one. Yeah, I think that's the after. Yes, that's the afterbirth from that one because it's attached from the cord. So don't be alarmed when yours uh, comes out like that. And there's another one coming out. That's it, good girl. That's right, good girl. God, I hope there's only two. I can't be coping with much more of this. Yeah, there's another one coming out there, you see? like she's going to eat that. How primal. She's, she seems to be chewing off the cord. I'm 
What are you doing with this little bugger? She actually gave birth about an hour and a quarter after she'd first gone into strong labour. Um, and this one is coming about three quarters of an hour after the first one. Blimey, you're going to have your hands full there. See, pussycats don't get a manual and they don't get Lamar's classes and they... Well, she's got a midwife, but it's only me. And, um... They just seem to get on with it, don't they? Take it in their stride. She won't be getting on with it again, I tell you. Two weeks, she's down to, to Uncle Bill's, the vet's. This one's taking a while, if you can see just here. Um, he's been sat there for quite a while in the queue. She still keeps her eye on the other one. You know, while she's giving birth to this one. making a hearty snack of the uh, the afterbirth mm. well this is priceless she appears to be frightened of him Oh, unless she's put him out of the way while she has another one. He's a grand little chap. Yeah, she is. She's having another one. <laughs> 